Hi, my name is Paula Healy, and I'm a graduate student in the field of special education at Grand Canyon University, and today I'm going to talk about the dispositions I feel that I already possess that are going to make me a successful teacher. And the first of those is I truly believe that all students can learn. I also recognize that um, all students learn in different ways. They have, their brains are wired differently, and what works for one student might not necessarily work for another student. So it's also up to me to decipher what strategies I'm going to bring into the classroom um, so that all of my students can be successful. I also believe that I myself as a teacher have to continue my own growth and learning and I fully intend on doing this by attending professional development classes that are offered in my school district here in North Attleboro. We actually have many that we get to go to and they've been so beneficial this year. Um, I also believe I need to reflect upon my own practices take a look at my lessons, see what's working, what's not working, and be mindful that just because a lesson works in one classroom doesn't mean it's going to work in the next. So again, that's recognizing the different learners in the classroom and being aware that different strategies must be incorporated into daily lessons. Um, given this, I feel that something I really need to work on is being more active in my community. And I know this will come with time. I recently just moved to this area, so I'm just learning the way my way around myself and getting acclimated and getting myself out there. In my prior school district, I was more actively involved, but I, I'm learning and I'm getting there, and as I spend more time in the school systems, this would definitely be um, not a problem at all. And finally, I want to talk about what a teacher looks like to me. and. To me, a teacher has to present themselves professionally both inside and outside of the classroom. Um, this means absolutely avoiding drug use, um, not abusing alcohol, obviously not drinking and driving, um, and basically obeying any laws, not performing any um, criminal acts, or um, just being good citizens of our community. Um, Basic, eth basic ethical standards must always be at play, respecting others, respecting other people's property, obeying laws, and um, we need to remember teachers are always being watched, um, whether we're in the classroom or in the supermarket. Um, I know I wouldn't want my own children in a classroom who is being led by a teacher with a criminal background. Um, we just always need to be mindful and need to represent our selves in a, a positive manner. We are role models for these kids and it's our job to to maintain that status and produce our next society of learners. So um, thank you very much.